Hi there, welcome to my YouTube channel. Welcome to my nursing channel. My name is Nurse Master Charlie, and on my channel I talk about all things nursing. So if you wanna know more about nursing related topics, make sure that you subscribe, like this video, and then also hit the notification bell so you can be made aware of when I make new videos. This video is going to be about how to assess the femoral pulse and the popliteal pulse. So let's get right to the video. So what is a pulse? By definition, a pulse is the regular expansion or dilation of an artery caused by the ejection of blood into the arterial system by the contractions of the heart. And your pulse is the rate at which your heart beats. Now to assess a pulse, you will need your fingertips to feel or palpate the pulse. You will need a watch to time the pulse. So you're going to be counting the beats per minute in a pulse rate. So when you assess a patient, you want to assess whatever system you're assessing systematically. So for pulses, we're going to assess from head to toe or head to foot. When we assess a pulse, we want to assess bilaterally for symmetry. The only ones we will not assess bilaterally or at the same time will be our carotid pulses and the apical pulse because there's only one site we're going to listen what? to. Okay, when we assess a pulse, we want to assess for a couple of things. We want to assess for the rhythm and the rate. Well, pulses can be described as regular, irregular, regularly irregular, or irregularly irregular. And normally you want to count for one minute. You can count for 30 seconds and multiply it by two. However, there are some instances when you do want to check it for one minute when you're going to give a cardiac medication. And if you're not familiar with the patient, also maybe check it for 60 seconds. Now you want to assess the strength of a pulse. Now pulses can be described as zero, indicating no palpable pulse, one plus indicating a faint pulse, 2 plus suggesting a slightly more diminished pulse than normal, 3 plus it's a normal pulse, and 4 plus indicating a bounding pulse. So before you see your patient, make sure that you perform hand hygiene. And since you are going to be touching your patient, you want to let them know what you're going to be doing and then ask them if that's okay. Don't forget to watch my other videos that show other pulse points. To assess our femoral pulse, this is located in the inner thigh at the mid inguinal point, halfway between the pubic symphysis and the anterior superior iliac spine. To assess our popliteal arteries, they are located behind the knees in the popliteal fossa. They derive from the femoral arteries. The best way to find them is to bend your knee with your foot not flat on the floor and then put your fingers up into the popliteal fossa. So I'd like to thank you for your time. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and then click on the notification bell so you can be made aware when I release new videos. So and until the next video, God bless, thank you, and goodbye.